Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, we're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty. have better one of the mods still in month number 7. And it's going one mission after the other, after the after, uh, after the other, after the other. It's just no time to breathe in between. Today we're going to look at Operation Demon Hen. And as I mentioned in the last uh, episode already, we have a really good team here, Harbringer, our Skirmisher, Quick Feet, our Specialist, uh, Mike the Bravo, Public, our Gunner, we got Tracy St. Elliot here as Shinobi, and Phil Mitch Mitchell as the Grenadier. So cover removal, really a lot of um, firepower, mid-range mid firepower with the Gunner and Skirmisher, Shinobi Frontline Specialist uh, with our support abilities. I'm not afraid about going in, but and I'm pretty sure that the team can do it, but it's only uh, five soldiers and we're fighting against 24. Am I going to invest the extra intel or not? We do have relatively good geared and high ranking soldiers, so I think we're going to make it a little bit more of an interesting mission and we're actually going to go in against 24 enemies. Let's go boys, let's go. Okay, and we just landed. We got some of our prototypes of the coil guns with us. Mike Bravo here is having a coil rifle. Looking very much forward uh, to him using it. We also got um, Sane here, who's wielding finally the upgraded um, highest blade. I'm super proud about that uh, because we needed seven engineers to get it done. So that's finally also available. Yeah, and the only thing we need to do is essentially kill the data tab, right? So what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Mitch Mitchell, Oscar Mikes. Not exactly sure why I did... Why did I give him... Why did I make him a leader to begin with? He's a effing grenadier. Tracy Elliott here should be the leader, so I should probably stop training him because they are on equal levels, which means currently only one of them will get their leadership ability, and Phil certainly shouldn't be leading when we do have a Shinobi with us. Let's see, what do we have here? So normal engineer, shouldn't be a problem. Advanced mech. Shock trooper is a problem. They do have evasive, so their first shot uh, almost always misses. First sergeant, 17 hit points, wow. And then a mech longbow. That's a tough pack, not going to lie. But look at the damage. Oh my lord. Oh, there's a drone. Yeah, well, great. Good for the drone. Moving on target location. Probably going to engage next turn. Heading there now. Taking the high ground. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, anyway, protocol with quick feet is not really going to work out. We're not going to take any shots, so might as well just move normally. Mike is going to go over here. And last but certainly not least, Mitch Mitchell, who's also going to go in. I already made up my mind we cannot keep concealment with St. Elliot. Not throughout the whole time, we probably need to do an Overwatch ambush. Oh, and they have clustered very, very nicely. If we were to position ourselves like 
right here. Fourteen to eighteen, just to begin with. Nice. And yeah, we don't even need Reaper for it. And we can get out of there after our attack. So I think we're just going to charge in, to be honest, and figure out how we're positioning ourselves later. If we attack in this attack position, we'll get four attacks for free. The other alternative is we could position ourselves in the middle here. The mechs sometimes don't move. I think this here is the better position. On the other hand, 26 hit points is certainly, certainly something to consider. So if we were to move all the way up to here, That'll be three attacks. The max will probably just stand their ground. Nah, I'm going with the first idea. That still leaves the shock trooper open. Hmm. Guys, I'm not sure. I really want to kill the shock trooper as well. But this here is too good. Getting four attacks. Certainly helpful. Nice. And I didn't even know that that can proc burning. That's even better. Holy shit. Uh, no one moved? Seriously? <laughs> okay, well, that's the first time ever that no one moved. Okay, might as well start get them down slowly but surely can hit for seven that sergeant is almost dead good blade storm will kill this guy We need to move. I want to flink. I want to flink this guy down here. So someone else needs to deal with him. There we go. Uh, we should have, uh, we should have had another shot. To be honest, I feel robbed. Moon up with the aid protocol and let's kill this guy here. Good, what can Mitch do? I 
which can move up and probably hand over an action. Oh, that's too, sh uh, too shabby. Um, let's continue with hitting all of them. Yeah, I mean, we can easily kill the mech. Elsewise, it's going to use its rockets. Hitting the shock trooper, also an option. It will get an attack with Blade Storm. So let's go for the mech first. You were telling me that was a grace shot. Okay. <sighs> and he's burning, which is perfect. Means he cannot do much. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> he almost triggered. He almost triggered. Well, overall, that was a strange engagement. Mike moves up. And look at the damage. Nice, and that is without any increases to the actual weapon. Oh wow, the weapons are great. I like them. I will go. Okay, we could move up. Before we do that, let's double check if there is no other pack. The answer seems to be no. Yeah, but I still don't want to uh, waste the grapple yet. We're not going to attack anyone. Might as well just move and take good positions. So that was what? A pack of six. Meaning there are 18 more left. Moving up. Ooh, wow. That's a pretty beefy pack. Soldier, Spectre. Of course, everyone's just barely out of range. Soldier, Spectre, two mutants. Okay.
All right, moving up. Into a nice cover position right here. And this should give us two shots. One to start. And we gotta improve his gun's damage as well. Generally good, but boy oh boy, we need more damage than that. Let's take the mech next. Alright, come on. That's a pretty decent hit. And almost a kill. Moving in, and let's kill the Spectre. What are we doing here? No longer a threat. Yeah, I don't want to stand in the open. We're going to head over an action, but not before we're taking out the mutants here. Free flashbang grenade. We could charge in, uh, but that would be unclever, unwise. My kid has it under control, we're just going to rapid shot again. It's gonna be fine. Told you he has it under control. Well done, Mike. Good job. Don't want to advance too much. As uh, that would indicate that, or imply that we're maybe pulling an additional pack, which we certainly don't want to do. Okay, just a grazing shot. Oh, I've completely forgotten about this guy. Good, let's move over to here, position where we can flank and theoretically see the other Advent Trooper. First things first. Good job. This here should take care of uh, the uh, the advent soldier. Very nice. The damage is just insane. Let's grab some loot. The loot is also insane. I love the end game. If you know how to play it, it treats you so well.
Yeah, so we're probably going to suppress him. Yeah, not really sure how to engage him. I like the sound of the coil weapon. Really well done. No one's going anywhere. Orders confirmed on the move. Yeah, and we're going to give an aid protocol to Mitch Mitchell and next turn we're going to go in and essentially kill this guy. His orientation removed, but he now has... How is that even possible? How is he hitting? But this is half cover plus um, a protocol, so full, full cover equivalent, and he's suppressed on top of it. Out. Fuck you. Very nice. Good, so we got six here, two mutants, one mech, one soldier, that's four, and a spectre, five, eleven, eleven down. By the way, time to call in the good old Sky Ranger. Alright, Mike Bravo moves up to full cover. Oh, hello. Take a really wild guess who is vulnerable against melee attacks. Damn right, the sector it. Twenty-one points of damage. See ya, buddy. And with whirlwind, we're just simply getting out of here again. Oh, okay. What are we talking about? One, two, three, four, five, six. And there was another pack here. Might as well take over that guy. I, am reloading. I mean, we could position ourselves here, right? Not sure if that's the best idea. Currently don't have an 8 protocol left over. We don't need healing at the moment. Not yet. On the other hand, uh, the heavy mech has spotted us out. Moving to position. Let's play this round carefully and not like John Rambo. We're overwatching. And the party's just... just starting. Perfect timing for another phase, this one.
Stun lines are coming through. Okay, and some reinforcements are going to come next turn. Well, great. That's a pretty decent uh, start. I knew it. We just did not have enough uh, enemies. Time to kill the stun lancer. What? This must. This must be. A mistake, yeah, that the Viper Elite is not standing right there. Yeah, we need to get upstairs next turn. That would be a great pull if we could actually pull it off. Hmm. Let's do a couple of shenanigans, shall we? So we're putting ourselves in full cover over here. This here is vision block it, uh, blockade, so not much is happening there. I'd like to give everyone back here a little bit more defense. Didn't cost us anything to do that. It's kind of a double-edged sword, they can also run into it, but I want to actually defend that uh, entrance. And then I was hoping I could somewhat sneak in a grenade, like through the wall. As we all know, the XCOM engine trades uh, treats solid objects uh, somehow optional. So that is going to explode right behind the wall. Removing suppression and also helping us. Are you shitting me? You're really serious? The Viper is right there? That's by large and far the most ludicrous and ridiculous thing that I've seen in a while. Alright, we're going to get to these guys in a second. Nice hit. I, I'm still not sure how that Viper ever made it to here. Could theoretically kill him. That's not a secure kill, so we got we need more damage. Hmm. 
trying to find a way if that wall here has opened by now. Apparently not. By the way, still not sure about the two vipers that are standing here. Oh, there's indeed a second viper. How is that viper even on top of me? Huh? That's just wrong on so many levels. Okay, gotta kill all of them. Good. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to kill one of them after the other. Starting with the Stun Lancer. It's one down. Yeah, that's a trap we wouldn't be able to get out of there. Plus, the purifier isn't doing anything. Um, yeah, not exactly sure why I would need to kind of stand over here to attack the Viper. Okay, but wait a second. I'm still not sure where the Viper is positioned. Now it's all of a sudden positioned over there. That Viper seems to be positioned right over here, which is not the worst of all positions. One more down. And that will leave us with a position in full cover. Definitely not what I wanted to do, but at least we let it start burn. Mike is overwatching. We're giving Sane here an aid protocol because he's going to take a lot of uh, fire. I'd like to overwatch in case someone is charging in or the reinforcements are coming either way.
Luckily, we're completely immune against fire. Fortunately, we missed. But, thanks to the smoke, everyone missed. Can we get an overworld shot from Quick Feet, please? Buddy, I'm a bit disappointed. Nice little blade storm attack. The viper is starting to slither away. Even more slithering. <laughs> He's our gatekeeper, I like it. Unfortunately, we are probably going to get injured. No, we aren't. Still a solid position overall. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Mike the Public Bravo were slowly but surely going to let him get on to high ground so that we're having a good chance to actually kill something. And that could, both of those could be good, but I think we're just going to kill the mech here. All right, come on, buddy. Not good. Still not enough damage to justify that we would need to do something. So instead we're reloading. And let's kill the mech. Whiplashing. Yeah, we're still having that damned beast down here. Moving into full cover. If we could crit it, that would be insanely helpful. <laughs> so if we had the high ground here, would we do anything with it is the question. Got another mech, which is a problem. I mean, we could aggressively move in, take two shots and down this guy. Yet another mech. What the actual heck? You know, to maximize our action economy, I think this idea isn't too bad. It's not dealing with the faceless one, but the faceless one will be a pretty annoying target. It's definitely not the most annoying one. Let's get the Sentinel. Shredded it, which is great.
And now we're moving up here. Half cover is considered full cover for him. Uh, well, that's not even half cover. Shite. Good plan, but I did not consider that that there is no cover. Can't leave him out in the open. That's not going to work. But what we can do is we can move him down here so that his retaliation is killing this guy. So that way we get at least a little bit out of his ex actions. Viper Elite is gone. I'm not sure if that's not too deep in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see what the movement is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. We're standing here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nah, I'm not sure if we can go get back to cover. Sentinel is bad, but so are other things here. Yeah, let's get the mech. That way we don't need to suffer another rocket explosion Taken care of. and thanks to whirlwind we position ourselves in here we are still immune to fire Viper is moving up. Tongue grab misses, which is great. This Viper is still burning. Can't really do anything. All of their shots go into full cover, in most of the cases even full cover plus... Um, Plus the smoke. Yeah, the smoke really makes all the difference here. And now we're even suppressed. Great. Absolutely what I wanted to see. I don't want to explode the purifier. All right, time to get rid of uh, the mech in the back. Let's go kill the longbow. Almost down. So close. Okay, unless someone's sprinting in, they won't be able to get us up here.
think we're going for the Viper here. For the Elite Viper, that is. It's going to trigger one overward shot, but I'm fine with it. Uh oh. He is Sentinel. I didn't know about that. Moving into full cover. Let's kill the faceless one. Great. Good. Move up to here, kind of repeat the exercise that we just did, and kill the mech as well on top. You know what? Let's do this. Harbringer gets the aid protocol. She's, uh, the Swiper is still burning, so it's not going to be much um, opposition. We could go to here and actually kill both of them, Viper and... Yeah, I think that's a good one. It's pretty open towards this Viper. But yeah. What can you do? <laughs> Guess who was sneaking in, my friend? Damn right, it is a me, a Mario. Killing the Viper first, because we still would have a melee attack against this guy here, in case we're missing. But we are not. We are not missing. Moving into cover again. Another Holy Warrior. Played Storm? Yeah. No! Oh, lightning reflexes. Yeah, I knew that that might happen. I knew that that might happen, of course. Harbringer is now the the focus uh, target of everyone. But good news, finally we have someone who we can really heal. Go patch him up. Getting the lead viper down. I'll bring a moves up. And let's kill the mech. We deny our creators. I have little ammo remaining. There we go, that's the spirit. <laughs> Holy shit. No, we're at position just about right.
One over here. Let's try to kill him. We unfortunately missed. And I don't want to be impacted by the explosion. Okay, this is sustenance. Alright, we gotta hurry up. Like, substantially hurry up. Where can I see the target? It's right over there, it can't be that difficult. Pretty sure you can see it if you're standing here. There we go. Target still standing. Not sure how you can miss that. Of course, another face, this one. I really want to stand next to him, just in case the fire doesn't kill it. Moving in. Our main priority is to take secure shots and get this thing here down. And by the way, it wouldn't hurt if you guys could deal more than absolute minimum damage. Alright, I'm even okay with not standing in cover. Oh, that was good. Moving over. Luckily the reinforcements are not that severe. I knew it. The stay the good old stasis play. Cheeky little bastard. Alright, we Gotta deal with a lot of stuff. It's time to go. Reloading. And that's the one time where it would be incredibly handy. if your top damage dealer wouldn't be taken out of combat. All 
All right, let's try to optimize our actions this turn. This guy is taken out for one round, so we theoretically have dealt with him. Free reload. Run and gun. Move into here. Whiplash. Unfortunately, not enough damage. No, the Heavy Grenadier is a bigger concern. Alright, both of these guys are theoretically... Oh, when I do a run and gun, I can't get... Um, I can't get the bonus... for hit and run. That seems to be mutually exclusive. Shit, we can't get into cover here. But well, we definitely could kill... Okay, so let's do the best we can. Which would be a protocol for Harbringer. Gotta kill that target and then get out of here. Make us down. Perfect. Gonna need to reload soon. Done. I wish the knife would be a little bit tougher. It's unfortunately not. And we take penalties for standing that close. But still, his aim is good enough. <laughs> Guess what? You should have moved, bitch. Good one. The transmission signal is fading. They've almost completed the transfer. This is your last chance to take out that relay. Moving up. Um, I'll keep his intervention. Good, let's hit it and let's hit it well. Come on. My second shot was really good. As you 
Good, next turn we can move to evac. And get out of here. Overall, a pretty nutty mission. He has lightning reflexes. Can't be excavated. Uh, we can't. Um, we can't flee if we're underneath that uh, balcony. So it's really only three, three open evac fields. Which is good to know. Probably not the best evac positioning to begin with, but that's fine. I'm happy that the mission went as smooth as it as it is did. The team worked well, and may I say. The new melee weapon is completely busted. 20 damage. That's really good. Together with Whirlwind. Holy shit. Yeah, 30 plus enemies and we only had 5 soldiers. Nice. And there we go. Of partially wounded soldiers, that's fine. But we got a few promotions as well. Nice gunnery sergeant. So, what do we want to do with Harbringer? I really like his. I like really liked his performance. The implacable would definitely be u useful. Um, bring it on for extra crit. I can see that. Cooldown abilities is. Very good with uh, Whiplash together now since it's a rechargeable cooldown and all of uh, the Wrath abilities also run and gun would be reduced by one turn. I think that's actually really good. This one here is good as well. I like it. Lone Wolf certainly good. Zero in also good ability. Damn, he has a lot of good abilities. I like the Wrath um, ability for repositioning. Yeah, we're, I definitely would like to reduce the cooldowns. Normally in normal XCOM, it was a so-and-so ability to reduce the cooldowns, but since many of his abilities now are cooldown based, I think it is worth it. And I'd like to get Wrath just to have another cooldown, plus also <clears throat> another repositioning ability. And by the way, a lot of his additional abilities are great, I think he will make for such a good soldier. Only problem is uh, the gun, which we definitely need to upgrade. I like the smoker talent. Bonus smoke is good. I like salvo a lot together with smoker. So we're probably starting with smoker. Simply because free extra um, slots are good. They are very good. And here we're probably going for full override because it is just too strong.
And we got ourselves pretty decent loot. Plus intel, plus a lot of other uh, goodies. Very nice. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Oh, we are already at the security tower mission. Well, that is interesting. I can certainly find a squad uh, that is willing to do the security tower, which means afterwards we can liberate the entire area. Well, that is pretty interesting. Let me get a squad. Good. We equipped everyone and daddy is home, boys. We got a couple of uh, nice little coil weapons. Um, so that should, that should be interesting when we're now going in. Um, got a nice little mix of ammunition as well. Uh, we got plenty of shredding going on, so I'm not afraid of that either. And pretty much, yeah. That should be fine. Would be great if we can liberate uh, the region. Since we're expanding quite fast, getting another liberated region isn't too bad. And here's the thing, like even if we're not liberating it right away, um, we can just wait until the strength is like 8 or 9 and then start to liberate it. It's really no reason. Uh, why we shouldn't do that could be our punching bag uh, and then we're getting mission after mission but once we're done uh, and satisfied with enough missions we can just liberate the area certainly something that we need to consider is making contact now mm. got enough intel not enough contacts i mean We're still researching the facility lead, and I'd be interested to see if that gives us access to the black side. If not, to be honest, let's get the entirety of North America. Nah, 130 is too much. We, uh, On the other hand, if we can build a network tower here, we can make contact immediately, and that is probably worth it. Um, mission in East Asia unlock. That is perfect. We got more facility leads, which we currently do not need. I like the battle armor thing, but I like plasma rifle more. Shit, we're missing Alarium. Let's buy some Alarium. On its history with the okay whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a second well, it's even another facility Ooh. wait that mission is locked oh it just gave us the hint that there is a facility. Well, certainly got to, uh, to make our way there sooner than later. Good job that I've just started to contact a different area. <sighs> Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. Uh, we don't need to sell anything. Let's see if we can buy Alarium Crystals. Yeah, we can. Could buy Sergeants, but I don't think that we should do that at the moment. I guess we're fine. I want to save the money. Um... Wait a second. 
We just spent 130? Wow, okay. Well, let's get rid of some cores. Good. Very soon, at the end of the month, we're going to swim in money. And now, let's get the plasma rifle. 29 Elerium instead of... Okay. Never mind. I shouldn't have built the coil guns to begin with. Yeah, we will buy Elerium very soon. Or, oh, I do have an idea. Can I actually gain some Elerium? There we go. Rendering this will give us Elerium. And that way we can start plasma weapons. I really want to go for plasma weapons now. Kind of come hell or high water. That way we don't need to build many coil weapons. We can directly jump to the plasma tier. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectations. Thanks, Tygen. Now, finally, plasma rifle. Yes, please. 18 days holy moly but it's so worth it if you think that the sword was busted wait for plasma rifles or wait for plasma weapons they are crazy alien forces feel stronger combat units with bonus hit points yeah well that's not good On the other hand, we are having another mission here for 22 Intel, which I think we had a pretty strong squad. Yeah, that's fine. So we can do that right away. Got another mission on the way. Another mission here. Another mission here. So we're doing very, very well for ourselves. Which brings us to the end of uh, this mission, Hartford victory, but overall uh, we were successful. Got some uh, intel out of it and a lot of loot plus uh, promotions and, uh, which is the most important uh, part, we unlocked the network tower, which was really, really helpful. So with that we could theoretically liberate South America, so the southern part of South America. Uh, which would help us in the long run to even uh, snowball this game more. Now with uh, sufficient income I can finally buy some stuff uh, and that will uh, really shift the tides towards, um, towards our favor. Thank you for watching today guys. If you enjoyed the content leave a comment and a like down below. You know the drill by now and see you in the next mission. Bye bye!